Hey crafty friends, welcome to the Graphic 45 office. I'm Shari Filmahala here to teach you how to take these ATC policy envelopes and turn them into a fabulous little gift envelope. This is going to be an easy peasy tutorial where I'm just going to teach you how to use up your scraps from leftover projects. You know, if you joined us for our first video tutorial for volume 11, you saw that we created this amazing uh, December daily. So with all those scraps, we don't want them to go to waste. So we are going to be using them up on these cute little gift envelopes that are the perfect size for um, any present, but they are perfect for your gift cards. So making your holidays just a little bit easier and a little more fun. Let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. So let's jump into this holiday gift tag envelope tutorial. We are gonna be making nine of these beautiful envelopes. These are made with our policy envelopes, um, which we have in quite a few sizes, but we'll be using our red ATC size. They do also come in black and ivory and uh, three other sizes. So be sure to check out our website, g45papers.com to check those out. To um, what else you're gonna need to create this is our printable project sheet. There is a link in the description below that uh, has this PDF in there so you can download that and follow along. We're also gonna be using our 12 Days of Christmas Deluxe Collectors Edition. That is the chipboard that's featured in that pack, as well as a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And of course, a few of the gorgeous papers from this collection. And um, if you are a part of our Club G45, and you do want to do both videos we do advise that you do the first video the december daily mini album video first because this is so jam-packed with pages you use so many of the papers that we're going to be using the scraps to create these gorgeous gift tag envelopes so you will want to use your scraps. Um, if you're not going to be creating that mini album, you can go ahead and uh, start cutting away with us. Or, um, you know, if you're not a club member, just pick up whatever paper you have in your stash and play along. So for step one, we are going to be taking My True Love, this gorgeous paper with the red pair on one side and the music sheets on the other. And we are going to be cutting our three pieces from there for our first step and these are going to be cut to one and three quarters inches by three and a quarter and we're going to be using the b side on those and if you've got some ink we're going to ink those up just to give it a little more definition so here's one here that hasn't been inked up and using your craft mat or um, some kind of plastic i like to do it on I'm gonna take um, our Decades Photogenic ink. You could use any coordinating inks. And since this collection has so many different colors, I'm sure you've got something in your craft space that you can use. And then we're just gonna ink up those edges. This is gonna help um, just pop each layer and give us a little more definition. And the nice part about doing it on these plastic is it makes it easier to glide, giving us a smoother uh, distressing. And also doesn't make our table messy as well. So we are gonna ink that up, and after we've done that, we're gonna set those aside. And then with my True Love paper, you are also gonna cut out three more rectangles. These are gonna measure to be one and three quarters inches by three inches. So very similar to the first three we cut out, except for uh, it's just a quarter shorter. So one and three quarters by three inches. And you're gonna cut out three of those. And then we are gonna be doing some cute little notching of the corners. So to do that, I'm gonna take a, a circle punch. I'm using a half inch circle punch, which we will be using later in this tutorial. So. 
Uh, if you don't have a half inch circle punch, you can use whatever you have in your stash. You could also um, just uh, trace a circle and uh, use that as your template. But I would advise picking one of these up because we seem to love to use these in our tutorials. So uh, it's super simple to make those decorative corners. We are just gonna slip this into our circle punch and looking at it from upside down, we are gonna put it about halfway in and then go ahead and chomp down on that corner. And we'll do that with all four corners, just eyeballing that's about halfway in and there you have it super cute corners and then once you do that uh, you'll just want to go ahead and ink those edges as well and you'll do that with all three of your smaller rectangles once we've prepped that we are going to start putting everything together so we're going to grab your atc red policy envelopes and from that pack we are going to take out the three create envelopes that have a beautiful polka dot pattern so we're going to do these in batches so we're going to do three at a time and then we're also going to be grabbing some of these stickers from here so we're going to take the pair one two and three and then we'll also be taking the tickets first day second day and third day of Christmas for those and then we'll be using some chipboard uh, circles as well which and squares which I'll show you uh, when we get to that point but now we are going to start doing our layering so we've got our envelopes out we've prepped our rectangles with the notched corners and we have our three rectangles that are going to be highlighting the ivory side of the paper and these we are going to adhere onto our envelopes just right in the center so for this step i'm going to be using a liquid adhesive i'm going to be using tombow's mono adhesive but you can use whatever your go-to is and uh, just adhere all three of these down now that all three of those have been adhered down we are going to take our red notched rectangles and i'm going to be using some foam adhesive tape uh, you can use whatever you have you can use a cardboard for this and then just glue it down or i know a lot of people use uh, foam sheets but I'm just gonna be putting that on the backs of these, just adding an extra layer of dimension. And um, well then we'll be popping those down in the center, just a bit off to the right, maybe about a, in between, about an eighth of an inch from the right. So they'll be a little off center. Now that those have been adhered with some foam adhesive, you can see we've got some good dimension going on there. Then from our sticker sheet, you are going to grab those ticket stickers and we are going to pop these on to the bottom right hand or left hand side. Not just, you know, a little, a little bit below the mid middle of there. So you can see that my sticker here is hanging off the edge. You can do a few different things at this point. Uh, you could always put some flour on the back side or some baby powder so it would uh, take away that stickiness so it wouldn't stick down to your envelope. Or you can um, just use a bit of whatever foam adhesive you were using. Oops, that went flying. Just use a bit of that underneath so it doesn't uh, adhere to your envelope so I'm gonna do that with this one and then I'll do the same step for all three of these envelopes now that those have been on we're gonna add another sticker set so to the first day of Christmas I am going to add this cute little pair and this is just gonna be offset just a little bit the top right hand side 
and in the directions it says to go ahead and use some more foam adhesive but I already have so much dimension going on with mine I'm gonna leave this one as is and you can see these ones the foam adhesive that was done on the original set is a thinner adhesive so just whatever you're working with however you like it feel free to go with your gut so I'm gonna keep going and my next envelope my second day of Christmas and my second sticker and then my third sticker these are all in the top right hand corner super cute now as a part of step two that I skipped we are going to be punching out from pear tree three half inch circles so if you have already done the album you should have some scraps of this that you can just be using those scraps and you're just going to need three of those half inch pear tree circles and these are a cute just little additional add-on that we are going to be adhering onto this circle of our policy envelope just to give it that extra little pizzazz. So I'm going to do a, this with a liquid adhesive. And do all three. And now for the finishing touches, we are going to add on three little chipboard pieces from that 12 Days of Christmas DCE just on the top of each of those red those red notched rectangles and once we've done that we will also add these super cute pre-made uh, we just made these just before a little seam binding tiny bows so it's always nice to have some of those in your stash ready to go and then we're just going to adhere each of these elements to the these bows are going to go to the bottom right hand corner and those will just need a little bit you'll want to leave them so they don't those bows can have time to adhere down to that paper and then our little chipboard pieces are going to go right up here in the top center super cute and there you have it I'm gonna let those sit there but just some fun ideas you could always put treats and things in here and uh, hang them on your Christmas tree and have it as a little advent calendar you could always give these away uh, add them onto your plate of cookies or whatever you're giving away and then they're also a perfect size for your Christmas gift cards so just want to show you how perfectly they fit in there so these are a great addition to any of your holiday gifting and we can move on to the next set. So since I walked you through those steps, now I'm just going to show you how cute these are with other papers using our 12 Days of Christmas signature sheet, our pear tree. And you can see that this is just such a great way to use up those scraps. You can always add extra little circle punches just to give it some extra dimension. And since those policy envelopes come with nine in a pack, you can create so many of these adorable holiday gift envelopes. So we look forward to seeing what you create with your tutorial. Uh, be sure to share with us using the Club G45 hashtag on social media. And as always, happy paper crafting.